Now today is the 2nd of June, 2024. The level of irony behind what I'm about to say is unbelievable. On the 2nd of June, in 1780, the Gordon riots began. So here I am in the Spaniards telling you the tale of the Gordon riots on the eve of its actual birth. Now, a man named Giles Thomas was very clever. He ran the pub during the time of the Gordon riots. Now what the Gordon riots were, is there was a, uh, basically a papist act in 1788, which gave Catholics more right in England. Now, the main reason behind this, I'm skipping a lot of information here, is because the British army was in desperate need of recruits and it didn't, low Catholics were allowed in unofficially, this meant that Catholics could now genuinely join the army. Now, as this bill was going through, as this law was being passed or the, the act was being passed, over time people become irate. Now many Catholics, because Catholics at the time weren't actually being persecuted like you think, they were more concerned that by passing the act it would annoy people where they weren't actually annoyed. They just preferred if you didn't mention it and let time sort of pass, but they didn't. So the Papist Act was passed um, and this then allowed all of the sort of troublemakers who had worked hard against Catholicism to raise the public to become irate. Now, they started smashing up much of London. They burnt lots of stuff. They were hurting people outside Parliament all the way down to what we now know as the suburbs, right? Now, when they were rioting by this pub, Giles very cleverly invited them in and said, listen, you're all tired, you need a, you need a rest. And, and, he, and he gave them all a lot of drinks. Whilst they were drinking, he sent someone out to go and warn the local authorities who managed to get back in time and quell the rioters in this area. Obviously, there's a lot of tales of the Gordon riots that went on across London, but in this particular place, Giles managed to con the rioters into drinking themselves into a sort of calm stupor, if you like, until when they finally came out and saw the authorities, they no longer fancied their chances. So, well done, Giles, and that's another genuine bit of history behind Britain's lost and living pubs.